Well, hi guys, welcome to Tuesday Talk, and uh, I'm really glad that you're able to join on this Tuesday. And uh, we continue with sharing just a few thoughts and to remind you that these aren't Bible studies that we're doing here. These are just uh, a devotional, uh, and maybe it's a seed thought uh, that will help you and help me to go on to the next level with God and, and maybe even start on the wrong with God. You know, God just so interested in you. He so wants to engage with you and with me. So here we are, Tuesday talk. And, and together uh, today, I want to talk about testimony. And I love that word testimony. Uh, there's a song that, uh, called that from Elevation. And uh, this is my testimony. There's a line in there that says, if I'm not dead, then God's not done. This is my testimony. I just love that. I love that. You know, people are in despair with the new different variants that are coming. There are people I've shared on the on this uh, platform that we will come out of this. And, and people have responded back and said, really? And, and the, what? well, my testimony is that God will bring us through. Amen. And he's going to take us to the next level, whatever that level looks like. This is my testimony. Anyway, I, I want us to focus in these moments that we have together on a, a verse in Second Samuel. Let me look it up. Second Samuel ch chapter 22, verses 29 to 30. To be honest, the other week, this was my daily devotion, Second uh, Samuel 22, verses 29 and 30. Let me see if I can bring it up on the screen behind me there. Uh, yeah, if you can see that, it says, For you, Lord, are my lamp. The Lord turns my darkness into light. And with your help... I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale against a wall. That's, there's some powerful promises in those words, in those verses. And I guess I ask myself, is this like David just doing like a faith confession? Now, there's nothing wrong with the faith confession. We need to, we need to declare... Um, what God says over us. We need to declare that God, that, that we are his children. We need to declare that we are washed in his blood, cleansed and released from our sins. We need to declare that we have a new destiny and a new destination in Christ. We need to declare those things. But I think that that, that said, I think that these, well, I know that these verses are based on David's testimony. What do I mean by that? Well, a few weeks ago on these broadcasts, I shared about um, when David was in trouble and he, 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 he'd lost a battle. Uh, people had been taken into captivity, his family... The whole camp was in uproar. His own team was turning against him. And it says these, these words, and you'll see it on, on my YouTube channel, that David encouraged himself. David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. And we talked about how he talked to himself and, uh, and he encouraged himself. And in that moment, in those moments, however long it took, he heard God tell him what to do. And as a consequence, he puts it into practice. He goes after the enemy. He routes out uh, the enemy's 
and he gets all, everything back, the whole family, everything. And uh, it's victory. So when David writes this, you, Lord, are my lamp. The Lord turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against the troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. When he said this, he was reflecting back to his testimony. I wonder what's your testimony? The power of testimony. It says, Revelation 12, 11 says, They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the what? The word of their testimony. They overcame through their own testimony. Now, my testimony is different to yours and yours is different to mine. But there's one thing. We have a testimony. Of course, the testimony is, and Jesus is, uh, it, the testimony of Jesus is the, is, is the spirit of prophecy, Revelation 19.10. Jesus, and so what Jesus has accomplished on the cross, his death, his resurrection, his ascension, is seated at the right hand, that he's conquered sin and death and hell. That's my testimony. I am in Christ. But to experience, Experience those things, to press into those things of healing, wholeness and health, to, to press into God's abundance and sufficiency. So David had and he heard from God and he said, you, Lord, are my lamp. You're my illumination. You're my light. And you, the, so you change the pronouns. The Lord turns my darkness into light. So we can say the Lord turns my darkness, your darkness, into light. And with God's help, we can advance against the troop. With God's help, we're not going to go out and fight people, but we do have to overcome obstacles. So I wonder what your testimony is. The other day... Uh, in my study, I was searching for a book and uh, as a reference. And maybe I'd put it somewhere else on the shelf and I couldn't quite reference it. But in the searching for it, I picked up another book because there are many books in my study. And it was uh, just a, a, a short book uh, about God's provision uh, about our giving in every sense of that word. And at the end of the book, there was like a prayer that, or a declaration that you can use. And so the writer put, to, you know, for God to bless your ministry, your business, your church, if you're a church leader. And, and then it went through this. Well, my testimony is this. Over 30 years ago, I was in Shropshire. I was in a static caravan uh, on my own. I was there for the purpose of seeking God. And it was a huge, quite a large caravan. And I was alone. And I was pacing up and down and seeking God and maybe fasting as well. Really seeking God. And I got hold of this prayer. I like good faith-filled liturgy, you see. And I got hold of this there and I started to pray. And I got to that pit where it says, your ministry, your business, your church. And I stopped. And I said to God, but I haven't got a ministry. I haven't got a business. And I'm not leading a church. And you know, God spoke into my heart in those moments and he said, no, but you will have. This is 30 years ago. And it will be living waters. As I went over that prayer again the other morning, I remembered this. I remembered the things that God had taken me through. And I, I remembered that God had trained and had caused me to be trained and ordained. He caused me to, he has enabled me to pastor three churches. 
He's enabled me to travel to Africa on an, uh, 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 th at least three occasions, to India on at least three occasions, to Europe, to Israel, to, to minister the gospel in various churches and various towns and cities in this land. And to, in latter times, to set up Rivers Ministries. And now, through digital social media, reach out to a digital age. And God whispered in my ear. And he said, you see, I did that. I tell you, I went, Wow. This is my testimony. Of course, the testimony is not over because we keep pressing into the next level. But my testimony he, he is that he has taken me through. And it, there's been many struggles. There have been many difficulties. Through many turmoils. But he has brought me through. And he will bring you through. Press into your testimony. If God's promised you something, press into it. If God's promised to use you in some way, press into that. Or oh, there's one way I know that he wants to use you. And that is through your prayers and praying for the saints. Praying for God's people everywhere throughout the world. People you know and the people you don't know. What do I mean by that? Well, there are lots of, there, there are lots of, there are millions of people who call on the name of Jesus. I don't know them all, but they're all my brothers and sisters. And I pray for them and I say, Lord, I lift up the body of Christ, the body of Christ, those who believe in Jesus and are seeking to follow him. My, my brother, my sister, my brother, my sister, you're watching now. You, you're, you're part, we're all part of this. So press in, press in. So let's change the pronouns. You, Lord, are our lamp. The Lord turns our darkness into light. With your help, we can advance against the troop. With our God, we can scale a wall. You see, as we've said, David was reflecting back to what God had done. And just, do you know the old song, count your blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord's done. Start writing down what God has actually done. You'll be amazed and you'll go, wow. And you'll hear God whisper in your ear and say, I did that. You scaled that wall. You overcame that. You, you pressed through the darkness. We overcome by the word of our testimony. So in Christ, we can run through and we can advance. I wonder if this was in Paul's mind when he said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You can, we can. Make Christ the centre of your life. Trust him. Turn to him. And this will be your testimony. Well, I'm going to pray and wish you a good day. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to press like. Don't press, press notification button. And then you will get a notification every time Rivers Ministries goes live. And share it on your page, because together we'll get the message out. Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you that you've given us a testimony. And the things that you promised, all the promises of God are yes and in Christ are amen. And so, Lord, we press in. We thank you for the promises we've seen and the promises we will see in the coming days and weeks 
that lie ahead. Those who are struggling with darkness right now, just help them to overcome. Those who are facing great big walls of obstacles, may testimonies be formed in, in your people as they, as they can look back on this day, this month, this week, and say, God brought me through. Lord, I pray this in Jesus' name. Until the next time, friends, God bless you.